Hey, what's going on everyone? Grimsy Fines here, back with another video. In this video, I'm going to do a different kind of video where I show you uh, somewhat of what I do when I go garage selling and looking for video games. Um, all this amount of games behind me and throughout the room, I pretty much got the basis of garage selling. So, um, hopefully these strategies work for you and if this video gets enough love and enough likes, I'll make more to the series, um, breaking down even further what I do. So the first thing you want to do is investigate. Um, what I mean by investigate, um, you want to find where sales are at. You also want to find uh, what games you want, etc. So for investigation, uh, you want to look for for uh, yard sales. Um, if you don't have uh, access to Craigslist or Facebook, I do recommend um, just knowing your cities around you. Um, I wouldn't. I don't like to travel in areas I've never been to like so for instance um, where I live um, there's a couple of big cities next to it that I'm pretty familiar with especially one of them I work I work a regular day job there so um, when I when I know there's a garage sale in the area I pretty much know where it's at but um, the main tools I do use is Craigslist and Facebook both of those tools are magnificent for finding uh, yard sales especially um, in for community sales in springtime and etc. Also, you want to investigate clusters to, that are together. So again, if you could find those community sales or uh, multi multi home sales or multi family sales, those uh, will really help a lot because um, a lot of times you go for one 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 and and drive a lot to them, you're gonna end up you might find something, but for the most part, it's hard to find things when it's segregated like that. Um, so uh, for number two, you want to know uh, the market. You also want to know what you're looking for. So if you only want to collect for one system, then I mean it's going to be harder to find things. If you want to have a mass collection, kind of like kind of like what I have, um, you kind of want to know what you want and what you don't have and what you, what kind of games you want. Obviously, like for instance, PlayStation 2, uh, PlayStation 1, Xbox um, have a massive library. So um, I don't, if you you have to decide what you want in the library. Do you want every game? Do you just want shooters? Do you just want beat em ups? You have, to, you have to kind of decide that before you go out looking. Because I can tell you, out in the wild, you will find everything, <laughs> anything. So um, for sure, you definitely want to know what you want and also what the, what the market is. Now, when I say market, I don't just mean money. I also mean rarity. So there's some rare games that are worth a lot. So um, you want to know what you're looking for. So for instance, um, Back when I first started this channel, I found Rule of Rose. Um, I had already known that that was a rare game, and it's kind of hard to um, know that without studying a little bit. Um, you want to look at price charting, you want to look at eBay, you also want to look at maybe Google Rare PS2 games, and that way you can find what uh, games are hard to find, what games are value, what games are worth. Because again, like for instance, if someone has a PlayStation bundle, for PS1, they're asking $60 and there's only two games, let's just say it's a sports title. Obviously that's not a good investment, but if you have a PS2 with 50 games for the same amount of money, those 50 games can vary in, in different different kinds of games, right? But um, more than likely it'll be worth your investment. And that's the main thing for collecting. Um, you want to make sure that it invests in self. I mean, some people don't mind wait, spending money uh, on their hobby. I, for one, um, learn from one of my inspirations is a CJR, who um, acquired his collection basically through garage sales and basically being free. And that's how I've established my collection for the most part. Um, I flip what you got and then uh, keep what you don't got. That's basically what you gotta do. And uh, again, this goes with uh, knowing what you want. So that's, what, uh, that's step two of what I do. Number three, uh, you need to learn uh, how to ask. So uh, I can go more in depth later uh, if this video gets a bunch of uh, love, but, uh, but for instance, you have to know what to ask. So, um, and you have to take notes and just keep asking because a lot of times uh, they'll remember as you mention stuff. So for instance, hi, I was wondering if, I, if you had any video games, might be too broad. I would just say hi sorry hope not to bother you um, I was wondering if you had any gaming consoles like Nintendo PlayStation Sega etc and keep naming them off um, and 
that sometimes works. If that doesn't work, um, you can just give a hand gesture like a Game Boy or something like that. And that sometimes rings a bell as well. Actually, I had one person tell me that because of the hand motion, they knew right away what I was talking about. So um, again, I, I can go more in depth into this, but um, for the most part, that's what I do for when I'm asking. The last step that I do is uh, know how to haggle. So you have to be able to throw a price out there and um, be confident with your price. So obviously, if someone has a bundle of games, you could say a dollar, but that more than likely will be a no. So you have to know how to know what to offer. So a lot of times you can just throw out a 20 and doing uh, some cash and face uh, will sometimes work, um, but sometimes it won't. And uh, you can kind of you can kind of gauge how much they want just by the way they're talking sometimes and that's just learning their facial gestures uh, learning how they're treating the console how they're handling it um, it's a lot going into it i'm not and again i'm not going to break it on all through this in this video but i just want to do a quick video to show you uh what i kind of do to get prepared for yard sales um yard sales for me are finally starting uh they were in january but february and january are kind of like ho-hum uh, yard sales uh, there's like one one every other block maybe if that um, but March is definitely the month that uh, yard sales definitely start coming spring cleaning and that's when the garage sale season starts for me um, so hopefully these work for you uh, let me know if you've used any of these uh, tips in the past um, or let me know if, if any tips that work for you um, that I didn't mention on this video um, I would love to know I would also love to know uh, what uh, which works for you guys anyways guys that's all I have for you guys today hopefully this video was informative and useful with you guys and again if this video gets a couple likes I will might continue this series also please don't forget to enter the contest I'll link in the description below uh, enter the contest and you'll be able to win these prizes right here these are still up in the air so make sure you get them Alright guys, that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching. Grimsy Finds, signing out. Comment, like, and subscribe. Also ring the bell and follow my Instagram at Grimsy Raider. Thank you.